I don't know if this camera is actually recording because the last time I tried to uh, video something it actually did not record anything. So, um, this is my last big pumpkin of the season. I just lifted it. It's about 30 pounds. And uh, there's my hand. So it's a pretty big pumpkin. Very, very dense, very thick. Uh, this came out of the volunteer patch. Um, there's one more in the volunteer patch, but I don't think it's going to make it. Uh, we are at the point of the season where our first frost is coming, and this is the latest I've ever had pumpkins in the garden. Uh, so I, I did uh, harvest this one, even though it's still pretty green. It will turn orange. As a matter of fact, it is very orange on the, on the bottom. Um, so there's nothing to worry about there. The only time you ever have to worry about a pumpkin not ripening is when you harvest it when it's still totally green. Uh, sometimes it will not ripen. But I'm going to have to do that with a few of the pumpkins still in the garden. These are uh, jack-o'-lanterns here. These are, oh, let's see. That one's maybe over 20 pounds. This one is maybe 15 pounds. That one's maybe 12. These little tiny ones are... <laughs> Rosie! Hi, Rose! Hello, Rosie. These little tiny ones are uh, duchesses, and um, I think one is a Corvette. And here, I'm waiting for the... There we go. The cord volunteer plants to die so I can harvest the gourds and they just won't die. So maybe the, the cold temperatures will do it for me. This over here I think is a spaghetti squash. I don't think it's a pumpkin. So it may be what came up from those ancient seeds I found in the, in the cabinet in the spring. So that's what we've got. I've treated them with a weak solution of hydrogen, hydrogen peroxide so they won't rot. And uh, they're sitting out here curing. Um, here's what's left of the garden. There are still several uh, Corvettes and uh, Duchesses out here. See, I'm one, two, three, four. At least five of them left out here. They're going to be little eat itsy bitsy ones, so I'm not going to worry about them. I'm going to take these beds out at the end of the season. I do need to have beds because the pools um, do a lot of damage. Uh, if uh, they can reach the seedlings, so uh, there we go. All right. And there's another one there. So we still have quite a few of these little ones coming. And then um, on the jack-o'-lantern vine, there's this big one right here that is still totally green. So I'm worried about it. And before we go on, i got to show you this. Uh, when it cooled off, the um, giant Marconi peppers started to come to life. So I've got huge peppers here. Biggest ones I've ever seen on a giant Marconi plant. I have to do some stuffed peppers or something. And uh, the other happy pepper plant is the Melrose, which is, look at that, all those. Um, the problem is, I don't know how hardy they're going to be. It's going to be 34 degrees tonight. So we'll see what happens. I probably should harvest them all today. Um, here's another volunteer gourd. And over here, we have two more jackal ouch, jack o' lanterns. There's that big one, and there's two down here that are a little smaller. These are maybe seven to 10 pounds. This one's going to be maybe 12 pounds. It is ripening slightly, but it's just too early to pick it. So, uh, so yeah, this is our very late pumpkin garden. And uh, 
hopefully I'll harvest them all this week and we can get on to Halloween stuff. <laughs> See you next time.